All right, we're going to do a little review of all of our division strategies we've learned in Chapter 4. So we'll start with Lesson 4.2 using counter pictures. Say we had a problem like 17 divided by 4. You draw counter pictures by drawing four circles for your divisor. And then you'd make dots for the counters in each circle until you get as close as you can to 17, making equal groups. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ooh, I knew I only have one more to go to get to 17, and I have four circles, so I'm going to stop there, and that will be my remainder. So, my quotient would be 4, because there are four counters in each circle, and my remainder will be 1, because there's one counter outside the circles. Let's move on to lesson 4.4, .4, dividing through thousands. With these types of problems where you see zeros on the end, look at the greatest place or the greatest two places and think of your basic fact. I see the basic fact, 12 divided by 4, and I know that equals 3. So 1,200 divided by 4, well, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and then how many zeros do I move over? 1, 2. All right. Let's go over distributive property in lesson 4.6. This is when you break apart the dividend and make two smaller division problems that are easier. So let's look at 84 divided by 4 first. Well, I know 4 can go into 80, and I know 4 can go into 4. So let's just break it apart by place value. So one problem would be 80 divided by 4 plus... 4 divided by 4. Okay, so 8 divided by 4 is 2, and carry 1, 0, plus 4 divided by 4 is 1. 20 plus 1 is 21. Now, say you have a problem like 96 divided by 8. Well, I know 90 isn't divisible by 8, so I'm going to have to break this down differently. I might think, hmm, what's close to 96 that I know 8 goes into? Hmm. Well, actually, 96 is divisible by 8, isn't it? 12 times 8 is 96. So you know what? Let's change this problem to 93. There we go. Actually... Yeah. No. Hold on. Actually, let's keep it back at 96, what we originally have. Because maybe you don't know off the top of your head that 96 is divisible by 8. So what could we still break this down into? Hmm. Well, I know an easy fact for me is 8 times 10, and that's 80. So one problem could be 80 divided by 8. And then plus, how many do we have left over to get from 80 to 96? Well, 16. And I know that's definitely divisible by 8. So the first one, 80 divided by 8, would be 10. Plus, 16 divided by 8 is 2. So 10 plus 2 is 12. So that's how you use distributive property. Let's keep going. 4.7, repeated subtraction. So the, this is the strategy where you list some multiplication problems on the side and use those to keep subtracting until you get to zero or your remainder. So on the side, I might list 4 times 2 is 8. Um, 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 10 is 40, and 4 times 20 is 80. Well, looking at my dividend, none of those are really close to 168, so I might think to myself and look at the greatest two places, 4 times what 
would give me 16. Well, four times four. So what would get me close to 168? Well, it would be four times 40. Four times 40 would be 160. That is really close to 168. So that's the one I'm gonna use first to subtract. So if I'm gonna take away 160, I need to record which one I'm using on the side. I'm using the 40th multiple. All right, subtract, eight minus zero is eight, six minus six is zero, one minus one is zero. So now I'm left with just eight. So I'm gonna use the second multiple because it is eight. So if I subtract eight, make sure I write the multiple over here, eight minus eight is zero. Then to figure out my final quotient, all I do is add up the multiples on the side. 40 plus two is 42. There we go. Just make sure you list those multiplication facts on the side to help you decide what you want to use each time. All right, 4.9, using base 10 pictures. Now this is similar to the quick pictures using counters, only you're using the base 10. So, same thing as before, the divisor is four, so I'm gonna make four circles. Now this time, I'm gonna represent my dividend using base 10. So, there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 10, there's a 10. Good, so that's 50, and I need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make that guy a little bigger. There we go. So now I'm going to distribute these evenly into my four groups. Cross it out, put it in. 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 <gasps> I have one 10 left and I have four circles. So then I'm going to need to change this 10 and make it into 10 ones. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I can distribute my ones. Cross it out, put it in, 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 cross it out. Come on, there we go. Put it in, cross it out, put it in, cross it out, put it in, cross it out. Put it in, cross it out, 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 put it in. All right, let me see. Okay, I have enough left to keep going. Cross it out, put it in, 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 cross it out. Ooh, wait. I didn't mean to cross that one out. Because we have three counters left and four circles. That one was crossed out, but we have three left. So that means my quotient would be, well, let me get this highlighter tool here. My quotient would be 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. And then a remainder of three. All right, that's how you use the base 10 pictures. Last but not least, long division and checking. So, long division, here we go. Three divided by four. Cannot do that. So 31 divided by four would be seven. Seven times four is 28. Subtract. You get three. So bring down the next one. Four goes into 34 eight times. Eight times four is 32. Subtract. Oh. All right, well, I, don't, I can't bring down anything else, and I'm left with something with less than my divisor, so this is my remainder. 
Now to check my work for this, I can do the divisor times the quotient plus the remainder should give me my dividend. So let's do 78 times 4. 4 times 8 is 32. 4 times 7 is 28. Plus 3 is 33. Ooh, not 33. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31. Okay, now I need to add my remainder to 2 plus 2 is 4. 1, 314. 314 is what we started with. There we go. That's how you do long division and checking your work with it. Hope this was a helpful review for you. We'll be taking the test next week on Wednesday and Thursday. Have a good night.